Hello, friend. Today we will study Chapter Three: Solar System Controller Setting, Model SR Two Five Eight for the Split Solar Water Heater System. Uh, previously, we already studied Chapter One and Chapter Two. Chapter One is uh, about the plumbing connection. So this is our the first step. Uh, after we finish the plumbing connection, uh, then is uh, uh, for the electric connection. Uh, this is uh, our chapter two. So after we finish the electric connection, then we will begin uh, set the uh, controllers. So uh, this chapter, we will focus on how to set the solar system controller. And uh, we use the model SR258. So we will go through the uh, menu and uh, uh, study uh, all the functions of this uh, controller. Uh, this controller is uh, specially for the split pressurized solar water heater system. So uh, we will go through this menu and I will explain uh, the functions one by one. Uh, here is the button, so the uh, solar uh, controller. Uh, this is the, the first is the holiday holiday button. Uh, this button is if you have holiday, you can uh, press this button and set uh, the days, how many days for your holidays uh, in order to uh, the system can cool the uh, system by itself. Uh, in the uh, during night and the MH button this is a menu heating so uh, we can have a uh, electric backup so if the uh, water temperature is not high enough so we can uh, press it and then it can uh, heat by the the electric backup uh, set button is for confirm and a selection up button and a down button increase and reduce the value. ESC button, uh, it's for return and exit, return to the previous menu. Uh, here is some symbol uh, for the different kind of status. Here is the, the technical date. And uh, we use the SR258 uh, 1500 watt version. So, 1500 watt, the meaning is uh, the electric backup maximum uh, power is uh, 1500 watt. Uh, when the voltage is 220 uh, voltage. And if you need a, a high power backup, you also can select 3000 watt version. So for this video, I will uh, use 1500 watt uh, to introduce this menu. So the, the list we have is a one unit controller and one unit, one unit, one set accessory bag, one uh, pieces use menu and the one pieces uh, PT 1000 temperature sensor. The the cable length is uh, 1.5 meter, and the two pieces NTC 10K temperature sensor. Uh, the PT 1000 uh, temperature sensor. The color is black. This is especially for the solar collector to detect the uh, hot water outlet from the collector, and the two pieces NTC 10K. Temporary sensor. It is uh, like a little gray color. Uh, its length is three meters. So there are two pieces. One is detect the, the, the tank bottom temperature, and the other is detect the upper uh, solar water tank uh, water temperature. And one power cord. So you let us know what kind of power code you have you need. Then we will provide the the exact power code for you.
here is the besides design how to fix the controllers and here is a terminal of the controllers here is the power terminal so the for this system the uh, electric power is input from here uh, a here the earth connection and each uh, the meaning is uh, electric back backup so it's 1500 watt and the left one is for the earth connection uh, R1 this is for the solar uh, pump station so R1 is the terminal uh, output the power to the pump station and uh, R2, R3 R2 is uh, mostly for the hot water return function and if you need if uh, all the rooms uh, the tap ask for the instant hot water uh, you can buy the additional water pump and it will force the water to circulate uh, in, in the uh, hot water return pipe and, and maintain the water temperature uh, uh, at uh, for like 45 10 degree so R2 is uh, uh, advanced uh, functions this is up to you so if you need uh, the instant hot water for all the room all the tap uh, and the R3 is uh, for other functions uh, the T1 this is uh, the terminal for the uh, sensor the uh, solar collector sensor to detect the solar collector temperature T2 is uh, the uh, detect for detect the uh, solar water tank bottom water temperature T3 is to detect the uh, solar water tank the upper position water temperature and the T4 T5 and we will explain explain it later so here input port T1 PT1000 temperature sensor this is uh, uh, especially for the solar collectors the color is black and the T2 T3 mostly is for the uh, the solar water tank upper or the bottom water temperature output mostly is uh, the output R1 this is for the solar water pump station force the there is a pump for the water to circulate between the tank, solar water tank, and the collectors. R2 is uh, uh, the output, the power to for, for the hot water uh, return functions, instant hot water. Here output 1500 watt. When the uh, power is like 220 or, 20 or 30 voltage, the, the, the uh, maximum uh, power is uh, 1500 so when the power supply is uh, 110 voltage the maximum uh, power is uh, for the electric backup is uh, 750 watts so here is the terminal for 3000 watts you can start it by yourself but um, for this video we just to introduce the 1500 watt solar controllers. And for this section, it's about uh, how to extend the sensor cables because the sensor cable, the standard sensor cable, like the, the sensor cable for the collectors, is just 1.5 meters, and the uh, sensor for the storage solar water tank is about 3 meters. So the length is not enough. So we can extend the uh, sensor cables. So here is some advice. So when the cables length up to 50 meters, then we just use the 0 0.75 uh, square millimeter cable is enough. Uh, and when the cables length is up to 100 meters then we'd, we'd better use 1.5 square millimeter uh, cables
Here is the drawing of the system. You can better understand the T1 for the collector outlet hot water temperature, T1. Here, T2 for the uh, storage tank bottom temperature, T2. T3 is for the upper solar storage tank upper temperature. So here is uh, the detailed uh, explanation, everything here. You can study T1, T2, T3. R1 is for the solar circulation pump here. R1, solar circulation pump. H1 is uh, electric backup heating here. <coughs> Other uh, the, the, the terminals like the R2, R2 uh, is for the for the hot water return functions, and uh, we can use like uh, the T4 terminal four to detect the, the hot hot water return functions. And uh, the T5 T5 uh, actually uh, seldom use these functions. Like T5 may it's it, it is for like uh, uh, so when the solar is not enough we can use the electric backup but if you have other uh, backup like gas or the heat pump we can use the uh, R3 R3 pump to force water to circulate between the the storage tank and the heat pump or the uh, gas water heat and the uh, T5 T5 is the temperature uh, select the temperature you also can select the T2 or T3 uh, as the temperature then give the sign to the controllers Here is the menu structures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, it is very easy. Uh, we just uh, study some, uh, some functions, which is uh, uh, the basic, some basic knowledge for these controllers. <coughs> The first, the first uh, uh, menu is uh, the clock about the how to set the time for this controller. We have to set the right time, uh, just uh, your your local time, uh, because some uh, function is on the basis of the time. So you'd better set the right local time. THET, this is about the uh, timing heating. So this is uh, for the electric backup. Uh, when the sunshine is not enough, like in the morning or uh, at night, if the water in the storage tank is not high, then uh, it can heat what water uh, by itself. So here uh, it has uh, uh, three three uh, time sections. The first time section is uh, like from so from four o'clock to five o'clock in the morning. Uh, if the temperature is is uh, low than forty centigrade degree. So it will begin work, heat water to heat water, and uh, until the water reach 50 degree, it will stop. And the second time section is uh, uh, here, the default, the, uh, default setting is 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. So the begin and stop time is same. The so meaning is it, it won't work. And the third section is from the 17 a.m. and stop at 22 a.m. <laughs> so it will begin heat water if less than 50 degree. And when the water reaches 55, it will stop work.
So this is the default setting in the controllers. Actually, you can uh, adjust the time and the temperature by yourself. This is the THT timing heating. And uh, there is another kind of heating mode for the electric backup. That is the intelligent heating, heating mode. Uh, this kind of heating mode is uh, fixed. You can't uh, change it anymore. Here, right, not adjustable. If you select uh, intelligent heating models, uh, you can't adjust everything. You can't adjust anything. So the heating mode, which one is better, is up to you. So you can select it by yourself. This is about electric backup. The, the, the setting. So we selected the THT menu, then the we selected THTS. This is how we can uh, change it, the, the, the time and the temperature. SMT is, is, is I think it's the uh, SMT, the meaning is what? The meaning is, I think, in intelligent intelligent so it is not adjustable so we don't maybe it's not a good idea to select it and uh, we also have to in this is the menu like thts we have to select the right temperature for the controller uh, the S2 is uh, here is S2 S3 S2 the meaning is the uh, the bottom te water temperature S3 is the uh, the upper uh, water temperature so uh, way the better I think way the better select the uh, S3 S3 is T3 the upper water temperature is better uh, because if, if we select S2, you know, the heating element, the electric backup always in the middle of the tank. So S2 is at the bottom of the tank. So uh, if we heat the water uh, in the middle and detect the water temperature at the bottom, I think it's uh, uh, very hard to, to uh, Detect the, the, the exact temperature. Uh, so here uh, I adjust to uh, select the S3. S3, the meaning is the, uh, let's see the pictures. S3 is upper temperature. So heating element always in the middle. So uh, it will have a half uh, storage tank hot water. So heat element is in the middle. So if we select T2 as the temperature, you know, uh, the bottom always is uh, uh, cold. So it's not correct. So we should select T3, S3. Then we study the uh, hot water return function. 